Hello train lovers, welcome to this week's episode of Arlo's Track Time. It's a very special episode today because it's somebody's birthday. Me birthday! Your birthday. It's Orin's third birthday today. The lockdowns have eased, so where have we come today for Orin's birthday? Train museum! Train museum! Yeah! How exciting! We've come to Locomotion in Shildon which has recently become the home again of Stevenson's Rocket. So that's exciting, isn't it? We'll go and see that. Yeah. Are we going to go inside then? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Wow, yeah, that's new, isn't it? Yeah. A new truck. Do you think they're going to restore it and repaint it all? Yeah. Come on then, let's walk inside. Brand new. Right, what's outside then at the moment? Oh, the, old oh, the old diesel. Wow. Okay, so we're in, we've got our tickets. Wow. Yeah, of course. Oh, look at them. The LNER that you saw. This Winston Churchill is a Battle of Britain class, which is what Rebecca is in Thomas and Friends. Rebecca's this one. Have you found a Thomas? Wow. Oh, who's this look? It's Diesel. It's Diesel. Look at that funny shaped one, that's for ploughing snow. They're all very shiny and clean. Oh, so you have to match the order by shunting the trucks around. Can you do it? So it needs to be the blue one first up here, then green, red, yellow and orange. Just one though. Are oh, you doing them in twos? Yeah. I think there's only one red one though. Okay, so that's good. So you've done blue, green, then it needs to be red, then yellow, then orange. So you're going to have to shift these orange ones back, aren't you? Down here. That's it. And then your yellow, uh, red one. Well done. Uh, yellow next. And orange. Well done. You'll be a station master yet. All right, orange, you've got a different one. Green, red, yellow, orange, orange. Okay. I'll reach it for you. Excellent. What colour do we need next? What's this one? Yellow next, isn't it? Oh, hang on. I need to move that one out of the way. Can it just fit? No. Let me help. That's it. Yellow. Right, what next? Then two oranges. So you need to leave the green one. You need to move this yellow one here, orange. That's it. And then you need to slide your two orange ones over. And that one. There we go. Yay, clever boy. What are we going to fill it with then? You've got crates or you've got churns of milk. Churns of milk. Churns of milk? Is that the, that's the answers, isn't it, I think? Mm -hmm. We don't want to look at the answers yet if we haven't done it. Right, go on then. So you have to fit all the churns of milk in there. All of them. Can you put them in in a way that makes them fit? <laughs> the 
this is uh, Locomotion's restoration area. So you often see some really old and battered things in here. And I don't know if there's anyone in today, but sometimes on a weekend you see volunteers in restoring them and sanding them down and repainting. You see they have a big job on their hands sometimes. Some of them are really old. Another coach outside waiting for restoration. A cool model railway. There's no one running it today, but it's quite a good one. This is a bit of a special one. Queen Alexandra's saloon car. This is very fancy in here. Hello. Bed. Very fancy fittings. Don't say anything like this anymore, do we? Really nice. Look at this. Wow. Controls of a royal train. Some more really old stuff here. 1847 coach with first class in the middle, second class either side. What's the second class like? Oh dear me, nowhere near as fancy. We've got an 1872 Director's Saloon. Wow, looks very plush. Looks like you had it pretty good if you were a director of a rail service back in the day. Another really special part of locomotive history here. These trains were designed to tilt as they went round corners, which let them go at higher speed and deal with the centrifugal force better. So this is the man behind the idea, Dr. Alan Wickens. And as it says here, this is a pretty standard thing now on uh, Japanese bullet trains and high speed trains elsewhere in the world. This was the start of it all. So you can see the tilting mechanism here. It's clever stuff. Wow. Look at that in there. That is a step back in time. This one's new, I think. Really shiny, not seen that one before. The old Deltic. It's one of Arlo's favourites. Interesting freight, it's a tank. Oh, that's cool. It's a funny looking train, isn't it? Oh, that is mucky. That's from an old mine. Old intercity coach. This is a funny shaped one, isn't it? NER number one. What do you think of that one, Aaron? Do you like that one? You like this one? It's a 
nice colour. Oh, these are funny, aren't they? Bikes for railway tracks. Hello, would you ride one of them at Hamsterley? Yeah, you'd have a go, would you? I think it'd be pretty uncomfortable riding the red route on that. Wow, so this one was built here, went to South Africa, and then has come all the way back again. And he's now in retirement in the museum. It's a pretty cool looking thing. Oh, the dreaded gift shop. Look at this model railway. Choo -choo. What does it do? Ah, yeah, that's how an old ticket master used to count people onto the train. Every time someone got on, he'd count another one. <laughs> so he knew how many are on. So how many people are on that train? 3,350 people. Oh, yeah. That must be a really Look long that. train. That looks good. Let's do this in some Ah, yellow. it's here. This I think when it's toys, they just paint it yellow because it's easier. But it's actually made from wood, isn't it? Huh? So it's actually a bit of a brownie orange colour. Don't touch it, please. It's so around this side. Wow, look at that. That's crazy, isn't it? So he is George Stevenson's drawings when he first designed it. Thought of the idea. Looks very complicated at the top, doesn't it? All those levers and things. I think it's all the pumps that work the steam inside and make it go. Wow, it's really cool. You're very lucky to see that. It looks, look at its big funnel with the spiky top. Wow. Boop, boop. Is the birthday boy having a snack? <gasps> cheese string? Uh, yummy, yummy. Know. Can I have some cheese string? Yeah. Oh, you are very kind. Oh, it's lovely, thank you. The trains can't go on them. Does look a bit tired and broken, doesn't it? All these rubber seals have gone all funny. Oh, that one's better. What about these old trains? Look at this old diesel. Wow. I think they all need a bit of a clean up, don't they? Where are we going? You want to touch them? Go on then, touch it. What does it feel like? They're all rusty, aren't they? Oh, it's a signal lever thing. Yeah, it changes the changes which way the tracks go. So we're nearly at the end of the day now for Orin's third birthday. Have you had a fun day? Yeah, it looks like it by the colour of your mouth covered in birthday cake. Mm. So we've been to the museum, haven't we, Arlo? Had a good time? Yeah? And we've had... Oh yeah, you went in the park outside the museum as well. And we've had lots of fun with some of Orin's presents, especially this racing track we've got. Hope you've all enjoyed at home. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. We say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday, everybody. Anyone else that's having a birthday today like Orin? Happy birthday. See you next time. Hey, guys. If you want to see more of the Percy and Thomas racetrack shown at the end of this episode, then click on this video to see part two of Orin's birthday.